Let's assume you actually go to the gates of the university and you decide to notice the number of cars that actually pass through the gate. If you stand for let's say like 2 minutes today and you realize that 5 cars passed through the school gate, if you come tomorrow and you still stand for the same 2 minutes, the number of cars that will pass through the school gate has a chance of not being the same. It might be lesser than 5, it might be more than 5. If you go the next day and you perform the same experiment, the outcome is going to change. This is what we call a random experiment, a scenario whereby the outcome of a specific event or a situation actually varies and you can't predict it. Let's now assume this experiment of ours actually now occurs at a fixed rate. For example, on Monday, we realize that in two minutes, five cars pass through the school gate. On Tuesday, in two minutes, five cars pass through the school gate. On Wednesday, in two minutes, five cars also pass through the school gate. It simply means that the event of a car or the cars Passing through the school gate, in this case of ours, is actually fixed. It is occurring at a fixed rate. Now, if this event follows some certain conditions, then we can actually ask the question like, if 5 cars pass through the school gate in 2 minutes, so what is the chance that 50 cars will pass through the school gate in 2 hours? Or what is the chance that 20 cars is going to pass through the school gate in 30 minutes? Questions like this can actually be answered using the concept of a Poisson distribution hi everyone and welcome to another youtube video and in today's video we are going to be talking about the poisson distribution we will define the mathematical equation that defines this type of probability distribution talk about the expected value and variance of this distribution and then give examples of scenarios in real life that actually follows a poisson distribution and we are going to be using microsoft excel to actually see how we can model a poisson distribution so without further ado Let's start learning. First thing first, a Poisson distribution is actually a discrete probability distribution. That is, the random variable that makes up a Poisson distribution is discrete. By discrete, I mean the variables are countable. If a random variable x is actually defined by a Poisson distribution, then it actually have a mathematical notation that we use to define it. It is given as x. We have the approximate sign, then we have PO into bracket lambda. Now, the x right here simply means we have a random variable that is approximated or defined by PO, which is a, a Poisson distribution. Then, a Poisson distribution is dependent on the fixed rate at which the event is actually happening. In this case, it is lambda. Some textbook or some materials will actually use mu. So, it is either you use mu. Or you use lambda so going back to the example of five cars passing through the school gate in two minutes so the event right here is the number of cars passing through the school gate and the time interval is actually two minutes so that simply means that the lambda the fixed rate of the event is actually going to be equals to five or we can say that the mu is equals to five if five cars are passing through the school gate in two minutes then i can actually ask the question what is the chance that 10 cars will actually pass through the school gate in two minutes and that is denoted as p into bracket x is equals to 10 where x in this case or sometimes r represent the number of success in a poisson distribution unlike a binomial distribution that is dependent on the number of times that the experiment was performed and the probability of success the poisson distribution is only dependent on lambda that is the fixed rate at which the event is occurring once we have this value we can be able to calculate the probability of success that defines a poisson distribution and that leads us to what we call the probability mass function which is the pmf of a poisson distribution now the probability mass function that defines a poisson distribution is given as p into bracket x is equals to x or you can use x is equals to r let's use r right here so we have the p into bracket x is equals to r we have e raised to the power of minus lambda times lambda raised to the power of r divided by r factorial where lambda represents the fixed rate at which the event is occurring and r represents the number of success this mathematical function can actually help us to calculate the probability of success attached to individual events that we have in a poisson distribution now, a Poisson distribution can also have the expected value, which you also know as the mean, and it also have the variance and the standard deviation. 
Because the event is occurring at a fixed rate, the expected value of a Poisson distribution is actually equals to lambda or it is equals to mu, that is the fixed rate at which this event is occurring. And the variance of a Poisson distribution is also equals to the lambda or it is equals to the fixed rate at which the event is occurring. And the standard deviation is equals to the square root of the variance, which is actually equals to the square root of lambda. Before we can be able to use the concept of Poisson distribution to actually model a situation, we have to actually satisfy some couple of conditions, which includes the fact that number one, the event must be occurring at a fixed rate within a specific time interval. The second condition is that the event must actually be independent on each other. By independent event, we mean the chance that one of the events occurring does not affect the chance of the other event occurring. Once we can satisfy these two conditions, we are actually good to go. Here are a few real life examples where the Poisson distribution can actually be applied. Number one, call centers. The number of calls a call center receives in a given time period. If the average rate of calls is known and the calls are relatively rare and random, the Poisson distribution can help predict the probability of receiving a specific number of calls in that period. Number two, accident analysis. The number of car accidents occurring at a particular intersection in a day. If the average rate of accidents is known and they occur randomly, the Poisson distribution can estimate the likelihood of a certain number of accidents happening in a given day. Number three, email arrivals. The number of emails received in a specific time frame. If the emails arrive independently and at a known average rate, the Poisson distribution can be used to analyze the probability of receiving a certain number of emails in that time. Number four, rare diseases. The number of occurrence of rare disease in a specific population over a certain time period. If the disease is rare, the occurrences are independent and the average rate is known. The Poisson distribution can be applied to study diseases occurrence. Number five, website hit. The number of visits a website receives in a given time interval. If the website visits are independent and follow a known average rate, the Poisson distribution can be used to analyze the likelihood of different visit counts. So let's go into Microsoft Excel and actually use the example of the number of cars that passes through the school gate in two minutes to actually model a Poisson distribution. Here we are in Microsoft Excel and we want to model the example of us having a time interval of two minutes and five cars is actually passing through the school gate. So we want to answer the question what is the chance that zero cars is going to be passing through the school gate in two minutes one cars in two minutes two cars in two minutes three cars in two minutes so these are the number of successes and we want to like model these successes as much as we can so I can actually just write let's say the success will be zero we have one we have two we have three we have four we have five let's just say we want to fill this uh, down to let's say the 21st the 20th rather fill the series so we need 20 success that is what is the chance that uh zero cars will pass through the school gate in two minutes what is the chance that one car will pass through the school gate in two minutes what is the chance that two cars will pass through the school gate in two minutes and details like that all right so once we have our number of successes right here the next is for us to realize that the fixed rate at which the event is occurring is actually five cars okay the time interval is a two minutes so that means our lambda in this case or our mean in this case is actually equals to five the two minute is the time interval let's pay attention to that so we need uh the excel function that can help us with uh the poisson distribution so we can just choose any cell of our choice so i can just choose here i uh, press the equality sign and then poi then it's you can see poi -S -S dot dist that is the poisson distribution and it returns the poisson distribution so let's click on that and it has just three dependency it has just three details we can see the x we can see the mean and we can see the cumulative so the x right here is actually the success okay like that is zero one two three four five down to twenty 
the mean is actually the lambda that is at the fixed rate at which the event is occurring and the cumulative right here is asking us if we need to work on the cumulative or not so for now i won't work on the cumulative then i would do that later on so let's start with uh, the success for zero so we can actually choose um a1 now we choose our comma uh it asks for the mean okay so the mean is actually five that is the fixed rate at which the event is actually occurring and for the cumulative it's going to be false so by if you click on false it's going to calculate the probability of success for individual uh outcome right here that is from zero down to 20 so we use false for now okay so let's click on false and we can close the bracket then we click on enter and as you can see it actually calculates the probability of success for zero i can just take this here and paste it right here you know i need the probability of so i need this um value right here next to zero so um i can just you know copy this formula and paste it right here okay excuse me let's just paste this right here all right so let's delete this and once we have this then we can drag this down and it calculates the probability of success uh, attached to each of this so the chance that zero cars will be passing through the school gate in two minutes is actually 0 0.06738 it's the chance that uh, we have one cars is 0 0.03369 two cars is actually 0 0.084 and uh, you notice that as we get to it increases and as we get to some points probably this point exactly it gets to like the maximum and then it starts decreasing and almost standing down to zero now you may not see this but it's only makes sense for you to like plot this so we can use a scatter plot so if i want to visualize this okay i have i can actually use a scatter plot so i can just select all of this then uh come to the scatter plot and then i want one that has the line so i use this and this is uh the poisson distribution and as you can see the maximum value actually came the chance of having the maximum probabilistic value is actually occurring at the point of five so this is our Poisson distribution and uh, this is the so let's say we want to change the value of lambda let's say from 5 I want to change it down to like let's say 2.3 okay and then we click on enter it changes all of this value and then we can drag all of this down you see it changes the whole distribution and then it changes the whole values right there so that means right now the peak uh, of probability is around uh, let's check this value right here so this is actually so the peak of the probability is around two. so that means the highest probability will be seen at two and we have the rest going down to zero so let's just change this back to five and uh, we click on enter and then we take this down oh this is supposed to be 5 not 5.3 excuse me all right not 5.3 this is 5 all right so we click on enter and then we take it down and we have all of this okay so that is that about that so let's talk about the cumulative uh we can take this a bit to the side so for the cumulative all we have to do is to just edit the all we have to do is to edit the cell you can just change this to true uh t r u e and then we actually click on enter it changes the value and we drag this down here and what do you notice we have uh, the cumulative probability distribution that defines a Poisson distribution now we can actually play around this uh, detail a bit now we have 0 down to 20 right here which is the number of successes that we have and then we have this probabilistic value right here okay let's change this to um, false let's just talk about let's talk about uh, the, the probability mass function okay so let's take this down excuse me all right so so we are back to where we started from so this is actually the success like the number of successes 
and the probability attached to each of those successes and this is the fact that uh we are saying that in two minutes five cars is actually going to be passing through the screw gate now the question can come in a bit uh i won't say technical or tough way but it can be a bit tricky by saying okay we are saying that uh in two minutes five cars is going to be passing through the screw gate what is the chance that 10 cars is going to be passing through the screw gate in 10 minutes so this time we need to get the number of cars that can pass through the screw gate in 10 minutes because the time range has actually changed right here the initial time range was in two minutes and five cars passed through the school gate in two minutes now we have 10 minutes now so we need to get the lambda that is the fixed rate of events within within 10 minutes rather so let's use the bit of mathematics in two minutes five cars passed through the school gate so in 10 minutes is going to be equals to x so we have a uh, cross multiplier we're going to be having two times x is equals to 10 times 5 so that, is, so that means we have uh, 2x is equals to 50 and that means our x is equals to 25 so that means in 10 minutes 25 cars would be passing through the school gate so that means in this case our lambda or the mu we are working with is actually going to be equals to uh 25 so that means if we want to make a model for that we can actually um have to come right here and change this to 25 and click on enter okay and then we drag this all down and we can see we have uh, excuse me um, we drag this all down to the list all right exactly and we can see the distribution we have right here for our probability uh, mass function and if we change this to false to true rather okay uh, excuse me all right this is true then we drag it down this is what our mass function also looks like so so in simple terms when it comes to the concept of poisson distribution try to pay attention to the time range at which the fixed event is actually occurring then also pay attention to the time at which they are asking you to calculate the probability of success and that's all if there's a difference in time like let's say from two minutes down to ten minutes like the event is happening in two minutes and the question is asking you to calculate the chance that the event is going to happen like in a different time frame let's say like 10 minutes on one hour then you have to just do a bit of mathematics to convert the event from two minute event down to the specified time event and you're good to go to get the new lambda if you learned something new from this video and you actually enjoyed this video i would really appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to this youtube channel do you think i missed something or you have some questions for me please don't hesitate to go down to the comment section and drop your question i'll be willing and be ready to attend to all of them thanks for making it to the end of this video if you did and we'll see you in the next one bye for now